Good morning, I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Monday, January 12th. We begin with new terror threats against the United States and its allies. ISIS is calling on its sympathizers to target the U.S., France, Australia, and Canada, saying they should hit soldiers, police, and security and intelligence officials. It's similar to a message ISIS sent in September that resulted in so-called lone wolf attacks in Canada and Australia. More than a million people took to the streets of Paris to honor the victims of the past week's terror massacre and show solidarity against terrorism. They were led by dozens of world leaders from Germany's chancellor to the Palestinian president. Many of the demonstrators held pens in their fists in support of freedom of expression. A major break in the Air Asia investigation. Two weeks now after the flight went down, the black boxes have been found. The boxes will be sent to Indonesia where it could take up to two weeks to download the data of the 162 people on board. 48 bodies have been recovered so far. Winning big at last night's Golden Globes, Michael Keaton took home a Best Actor Award, giving an emotional acceptance speech and a pair of upsets for the Best Picture winners. The Grand Budapest Hotel, an underdog in the musical or comedy category and boyhood took top prize in the dramatic category nominations for the academy awards will be announced thursday morning i get more news anytime at abcnews.com i'm rena Ninen. and i'm tj holmes thanks for watching